What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're over Parsec PRQ, which is down 0.3% at 6.4 cents. I do have a bag of this that I am holding for the remainder of the bull run. I'm not going to sell this bag. I'm going to try to sell it near the top as possible. I like it because of the low market cap, low circulating supply. And I do own this coin because of the use case. And several of my coins I don't own because of the use case. I rarely buy them just because of the use case. But Parsec seemed like a steal to me with the slow market cap and low price and what they're doing. So very... um. So they're pretty much like an information infrastructure, really good for AI, and they actually purchased their own AI company, and they're going to mesh those together. So they already have all the information part. Now they're just going to merge that into AI. So pretty interesting stuff. Definitely do your own research. The all-time high was two years ago at 262. All-time low was three years ago at 001. This coin is currently available on the following exchanges, Coinbase, KuCoin, MEXC. So a lot of different exchanges it's also available on. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on PRQ. <laughs> So PRQ, the very beginning, so all the way back to the beginning, we are, uh, we're pretty low right now, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. We we are putting in a multi-year low here since July of 2022. So what we wanna be looking at now is since we're kind of in price discovery, we're not really in price discovery mode because obviously we've had, um, we've been lower in the past, you know, three years ago we were low, but we're going with the most recent data here. So over a year, we're looking at this chart now and we did put in over a year low from where we're currently at which is not good but the great part is there's there's a little bit of hopium here i guess you could say is we were, we're getting multiple buy signals right now on parsec now parsec in the past the buy signals haven't been crazy accurate i mean we've gotten pumps off of them i mean you got a buy signal right here you had a nice pump you got a buy signal here but it haven't been trend reversal buy signals so that's something we want to keep a close eye on if we draw the fib from the bottom to this most recent high our main area of support that we need to overtake is a 786 here at 81. So 81 is going to be the next support. If we continue chopping down, man, price discovery mode, price discovery mode. So we just drop the fibs down here a little bit. And the next stop would could probably be that 618 area. So let me actually draw that fib back on here and see where that takes us. Yeah, the next stop could be down here around 4.9 to 5 cents, unfortunately. Now I do own a bag of this. I'm not selling even regardless of if we drop down that low. What we want to keep close eye on are these indicators. And what the indicators are showing us here is the RSI is the lowest it's ever been here in the multi-year on August 27th. So we're starting to see a little bit of reversal here, putting in a higher low. So that's a good start. We're getting the multiple buy signals here on the WTX. So that's a great start. The RSI here is trying to flip over bearish. We can see it was kind of a fake out there with the larger engulfing candle. So I'm really, I'm not too concerned. Could we go lower? Could we get on the five cents? Absolutely. If so, it is what it is. I think this coin's going to perform better than the current price right now in the upcoming bull run. Uh, if I didn't think so, I wouldn't be holding it. Uh, I'm not currently looking to pick up any more of it. I'm currently focusing on some other coins to diversify my portfolio. But what we really want to focus on here is getting back over that 786 at around, you know, 7.2 to 8 cents area. So I'd be keeping an eye on 5 cents and then you're bullish once you get over 7.5 to 8 cents. Unfortunately, we've just been going down, down, down. And this is our downtrend support area right here. So this is our downtrend support area. You can see we've wicked to it once, twice, three, four times. Hopefully we start seeing that round up to the upside. I believe we could actually create a channel off these two right here. But hypothetically, you want to go something like this. And this is actually a falling wedge. Falling wedges are actually bullish, for example. Falling wedge chart pattern, lower highs and lower lows, bullish signals, uptrend. You go from the upside, fall down, and rip up. Here you come from the upside, fall down, and then rip up. So Parsec is kind of looking like that. I mean, if you blow it up like this, we came in from the top. We're starting to bounce, 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 bounce. So eventually, once we break out of this falling wedge, regardless of when it's at, could be all the way down here. Um, We'll see a decent size move to the upside. So falling wedge pattern is technically a bullish pattern, but who knows how long it's going to take to play out. Uh, like I said, I'm holding this for the bull run. I think, you know, five cents, it could be a possibility. I mean, Bitcoin's just chopping around. And since Bitcoin's been chopping around, look at what this thing's been doing, just slowly bleeding out. So in bit, until Bitcoin starts uh, heading bullish, I don't think this coin's going to be going much higher. We might be able to get this coin a little bit cheaper at around five cents. And who knows, if it does drop to five down to five cents, I might pick up a little bit more because that's just a steal of a price right there, five cents. Um, but yeah, so with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.